I'm Dr. Joe DeMichael, chiropractor and owner of Ocrement Health. On today's video, I'm going to show you a natural way to avoid getting muscle cramps when you work out. Before we do, if you haven't done so already, take a moment right now, subscribe to my channel, Ocrement Health on YouTube. Uh, hit that little bell notification and notifies you every time I upload a new video. And at the end of today's video, if you found the information helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. So one of the most common questions I get asked in my office, especially this time of year in the summer, is patients will come in to me and, and ask, you know, Dr. Joe, why am I getting cramps when I work out? You know, I go for a run and my calf cramps up, or I go into the gym and I get a, I get a lot of cramps in my quadriceps when I squat. And the first thing they'll ask is say, you know, you think I'm, you think I'm dehydrated. And I, so I'll tell them, I'll say, yes, you probably are dehydrated, but probably what's more important than that is you're probably low on your electrolytes. And when the body is low on electrolytes, mu muscles do not function properly. Now, I know a lot of people throw that term around electrolytes, you know, what are your electrolytes? Well, there's four main electrolytes that the body needs, calcium, potassium, magnesium, and sodium. And if your body is low on any of those electrolytes, things do not function properly. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you a simple, natural, uh, drink that you can make at home that's going to rehydrate you. It's going to bring up your electrolytes. It's going to balance them out. It's going to be much better than anything you can buy at the store that has artificial sweeteners and artificial colors to it. This is something that's very simple. You can make it at home. So let's get right to it. Okay, so this, uh, this drink is real simple to put together. You're going to take two cups of filtered water. Then you want to take two cups of of coconut water. Now coconut water is high in potassium and magnesium. It's also a good boost for a little bit of glucose. So we're going to take two cups of uh, coconut water. We're going to take half a cup of tart cherry juice. Tart cherry juice is high in potassium. It also has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties to it. We're going to take a quarter teaspoon of sea salt which is going to help replenish our sodium and some trace minerals two tablespoons of uh, fresh lemon juice. Lemon, lemon juice is high in uh, potassium, magnesium, and calcium. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a tablespoon of blackstrap molasses, which is high in um, iron, calcium, and magnesium. So we're gonna combine all these ingredients. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw everything together in this big, um, this big, um, uh, measuring cup right here. I'm going to take, uh, that's my filtered water. I'm going to take the half a cup of tart cherry juice and throw that right in. I got my two cups of coconut water. I'm going to throw that in. I'm going to take my lemon juice and then I have a quarter, um, um, quarter tablespoon of sea salt. Okay. That makes it a little easy. I'm just going to put it into a nice little glass pitcher here. There we go. Spilt a little, that's okay. And then to the pitcher, I'm gonna add um, a tablespoon of blackstrap molasses. Okay. Now once you get everything together, if you're putting it into a container that has a cover, that's great because you can just put your cover on and, and, and shake it. I don't have a, this, putting it into the pitcher, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a, um, a big spoon and I'm just gonna mix everything together. So mix it together really, really good. Spend a little time mixing all the ingredients. Okay. And then what I usually do is after I put everything together, I like to chill it for a while. It, when you drink this, if you, if you drink this right after you make it, it doesn't always taste the greatest when it's like room temperature. It tastes so much more uh, refreshing when it's in the refrigerator. Even what I like to do a lot of times, even if it's been in the refrigerator, I like putting it into a uh, glass with some, some ice. Now, I find that it's best to take in about 12 to 16 ounces of this electrolyte drink about an hour before I do some intense exercise, whether it's going for a run or going to the gym to work out, about 12 to 16 ounces, just once a day, do it before you work out, best time to do it when you get back from your run, you can rehydrate with some, some just you know filtered water and things like that. But anyways, very simple to put together. It'll last in the refrigerator about three days. This, is, this makes about 28 ounces of, of electrolyte drink with that, that combination, so you may want to double it. 
but we keep in mind it's only going to go about three days in the refrigerator once you make it okay so give that electrolyte drink a try it's super as i showed you it's super easy to make it's excellent i use that every day especially the summertime it's so important if you're working out hard to stay hydrated and to keep those electrolytes replenished every single day leave me a comment in the comment section down below let me know what you think about the drink give it a try have it about an hour before you work out and then let me know what you think about it, okay? If you haven't done so already, take a moment right now. Check out my website, www.okramedhealth.com. We have a full line of fascia release products and exercise equipment. Also, if you haven't done so already, pick up a copy of my new book. It's called A Fitness Carol. It's available on Amazon. Or go to www.fitnesscarol.com. If you haven't done so already, take a moment, subscribe to my channel, Okramed Health on YouTube. Questions about exercise or injuries, just leave a comment in the comment section down below. I do the best I can to get back to everybody. And don't forget, Okramed Health is here to keep you fit forever.